what is going on everyone this is your boy random marks coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming catalyst for fun and also take a look at the charts so before i get into it guys like always if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button love to hear you guys thoughts and opinion about fun so the first catalyst on the list guys is actually lsd which is liquidity stake and derivative now, just to put it in perspective and see how huge this is, if we take a look at the um, number one as far as LSD platform, it's actually called Lido Dow or Lido Dow, however you pronounce it. Um, and they're currently ranked number 32 according to Coin Market Cap. Um, now, the platform that we're actually going to be on is actually Curve. Now, Curve is also one of the top dogs in that field as well, too. Um, rank number 66. And the way that this works, as far as like how uh, LSD work, is uh, that you're pretty much going to be staking whatever your coin or whatever your token is. And once you stake it, you're actually going to be able to receive like in a form of another or of the same token. Let's say if it was Ethereum. So you stake your Ethereum. And now you would actually receive, you know, a LSD version of it, which would be like S ETH. Now, while your Ethereum is being staked, you still could earn, you know, the, the rewards from it. But now you actually have liquidity within your LSD. So if you wanted to sell this or uh, put it into another pool, there's so many different things that you could do once you have this, but this is actually giving you the liquidity of it, even though your Ethereum itself is currently staked. So it's pretty huge right now because you're seeing a lot of people actually going to um, um, are getting that implemented. So definitely good to see that fund is on the same mind and on the same track as well, too, because like I mentioned, that is going to make the uh, fund coin actually be more scarce currently right now sitting at 34 million uh token on the circulating supply i know this number is a little off it's somewhere close to around 45 million but like i mentioned with that lsd it is gonna take some of those tokens out of the circulating supply to make this number even smaller so the next uh catalyst we're looking at unode um, and if you don't know what Unode is, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but it's uh, pretty much going to help us as far as uh, for Shibarium. So that's scheduled to be released on uh, Q2, which actually starts um, tomorrow. Um, but it's only going to be the beta. Then the next part of the catalyst, we're looking at a large scale utility um, for Shibarium when the mainnet using Unode. And also the beacon, um, that's also a upcoming catalyst. So big stuff ahead for fun. Um, so if we just take a look here, guys, at the chart. So fun is currently sitting at 25 cents. So for me, um, like I always mention to you guys, uh, every, you know, every dip, and this is not financial advice, this is just me telling you what I'm doing every dip on these projects i am looking to accumulate in and i'm only buying at the support area guys so i'm not buying you know i wasn't buying fun when it was going all the way up right here because i'll patiently waiting waiting on my bag because we still have a long ways still guys to 2024 so remember for me 2023 is just the year of buying dips and just accumulating the asset getting ready for 2024 and 2025 so we still have a long ways we're only still in march um well actually yeah we're still in march um tomorrow makes april so so we still have a long ways to the bitcoin having so here's all the support area so first support line right around 24 cents so i even do 24 give myself room to 20 cents and I'm only just dibbling and dabbling in it. So my goal, remember I told you guys my goal for fun is to be able to have 30,000 fun tokens. So I'm not doing one shot, one kill. I'm just slowly accumulating in because I know I could get it, you know, probably could get it even um, lower 
if it continue to goes down. So dibbling right here at the 24 and 20 mark. Uh, if it continue to keep going down, the next area is going to be right around the 15 mark. And if it breached the 15 uh, cents mark, then I'm going to wait for it right around like the 10 cents, 9 cents mark. And if it breached that as well, too, then I'm looking to keep buying it. And by doing that, I am going to be able to accumulate more and more fun instead of, again, trying to do one shot, one kill. Because fun, keep in mind, it does have a low circulating supply. So this token is going to be volatile. So hopefully, guys, this just puts you, you know, in perspective of as far as what's going on with fun. Um, it is, you know, it is a sell off. This this been up, you know, over six X. So you have people taking profits. So. So, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed this content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Random Marks guy signing off. Peace.